in this demo we want to find out the managers who have more than four employees now depending on the complexity of the requirements there are two ways to get such an output let's start with the simpler way first remember we have to filter out for manager is uh, null cases we now use a having clause and then we order by the count so that is one way to get it is there another way what if we wanted the managers name also now the managers name is a requirement uh, the requirement for the managers name is that we have to get it back from the employees table it cannot be in the same query because we have to refer back to the employees table as another table remember the parallel uh, correlated query where we joined employees table to itself as worker and manager so we'll have to do something similar what we do is like this Now the subordinate count is going to be coming from a subquery. So we're going to use a subquery here. So here the subordinate count is a, it's an alias from the subquery, which we are going to print as a column name in the outer query. So we have a subquery and we've given the subquery analyze itself. So we are creating a virtual table from the subquery. The virtual table name is MGR EMP count. And then we're defining the other table, which is the employees table itself as manager table. And then we are joining the two tables together. So the manager employee ID is the uh, a manager ID from the manager EMP count. Remember it's, we are referring back the manager in the subquery is the employee in the parent query. And then of course we have to filter by subordinate count greater than 4. And then let's ju just do an order by 3 comma 2. Now remember this order by is the order by of the columns in the main query. Okay. So these are the two queries. Let me show you the first query again. Here we have a simple uh, filter of not null, group by and having. So this is a straightforward query, but we can't get the manager's last name. So if you want the manager's last name, we have to refer back to the employees table. Take two virtual copies. One is a subquery from lines number three uh, to uh, number six. And then back to the parent table as line number seven with the join, with the join condition in line number eight. Now I'm using the old type of join so you can see the old type of join defined here not the NCSQL join and then I'm filtering by subordinate count in line number 10 